Hey guys, the chicken is here back today with another Boomish video. In today's video, guys, just got done with about three hours of uh, snow plowing, which was great. We got a huge amount of snow yesterday. Um, so yeah, with that being said, make sure you use the code chicken in the shop. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it if you use the code chicken in the shop. And if you want to win any cool Supercell memorabilia, Boom Beach stuff, figurines, posters, merch, t-shirts, uh, stuff like that, um, become a member of the channel and you get entered in the monthly giveaway. This is odd. We have this build more uh, shop offer, but we can't get it because I guess we've got everything already built. So it's kind of a strange offer for maxed out players, but it is what it is. Moving on to warships. Uh, we had a great push today with the heavies. We got into diamond. We got close to getting to rank 22, and I got to 2160. I was on a win streak, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to open up the shock blaster. That should push us forward. Things are going really well. And then uh, that was right here. It was right here. I was like, you know what? We got a shot at 22. Really need this rank chest to keep moving forward. Loss, loss, win, loss. So it might still be there. I don't know. Um, we probably need a little base swap um, action. Actually, I'm going to show you the base that I've been thinking of switching to. Um, ooh, OP's in 22. Let's see what he's rocking. Let's see what he's rocking. Yeah, maybe something like this. Oh, he's got the shock launchers and the critter launchers. Damn. Um, hmm. I don't know if I'd recommend something like that unless you have all that tech. Um, the base I was looking at was Cameron, something similar to this. If I was to switch, I think I would switch to this base um, because I don't have critter launchers or shock launchers. And, yeah, I, I think that kind of style is better at the moment. Um, but I still like the four engines on the right and then two on the left setup. I might move maybe the shock blaster over to the left side, but I feel like it's just too easy there. I'd rather it be here. We can actually watch one of these replays. This guy got a decent time at 139 and see what, uh, what the deal was there. Now, unlocking heavies, funny enough, I'm using heavy chopper, rocket chopper, and having way more success. Heavy choppers and bombers is very is definitely better with heavies for sure, um, but it's still fairly slow against the six ERs. The sevens we crush them, we absolutely crush them. I cannot wait to go seven ER because we're finally gonna have good tech at that point. But um, but today was very good. I was very happy with today because at least we were able to make some progress, collect some diamond chests, and you know hopefully move forward. The rest of the season kind of like this. Now this attack actually was pretty sweet. He did a split hit. And it worked really, really well for him. Wow, look at that, guys. And he didn't even use any gunboat energy. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy stuff right there. Um, so, yeah, that was a that was a sick hit. Um, I'll show you what I've been doing. I want to show you one of my better ones. There was one hit I got close to two minutes on, guys, which was pretty crazy. Um, this one, yeah. And the base was somewhat standard. I actually don't like this base for heavy chopper, rocket chopper. We'll just fly through it really quickly. No pun intended because we are flying. Um, but yeah, we'll go over the tech tree. I just wanted to show you some hits, um, to give you an idea of what we are working with here. So, put it into four times just to speed it along. So keep on the left, move more to the right, use the GB to take out any cannons or boom cannons that are hanging over the edge that are going to kill us as we do that transition from this side of the deck to the other side. Um, and typically what I have had success with is not, um, flaring super early, letting them free clear a little bit. And then we get to this point here, and there's really nothing left, so we can go ahead and flare at that point. But it takes them a while to shoot through those engines, so you got to be careful with with, uh, with when you're flaring. So let's go over the tech tree next. Now, in terms of backfilling, the only thing that we've done is get the shock blaster. And I'm really leaning towards getting the shock launchers, but we definitely need the critter launchers first. Because um, that will shut down any ground attack for right now. Um, until people get shock bombs, at least. Um, and we also want to go 7. So I think Critter Launchers are, you know, they, they just make the most sense. Um, going 7. So this is the exciting part, I think, because as people right now are saving up for 7, um, number one, we can beat the 7s the that don't have the troop damage that can't roll through our base super quickly. And number two, as people save up for that, they might be waiting, you know, not having all of the defense. So we might be able to make some, make some moves here. Um, I'm just going to go back. I guess I don't really need to upgrade the med kits. They're not super helpful at the moment. And we do want to, yeah, we want to max out barrage. That's going to be better. So I'm not going to spend any tokens right now. But that's what we're looking at right now in terms of tech, guys. So um, 
yeah, I'm not going to change the base right now. We will do it eventually, but uh, let's get into some live hits and see what we can uh, come up with. So some bases we can go Heavy Chopper Rush. That was kind of what we were hoping for. Um, some bases we can do that, but it is tough, especially against Shock Launcher bases, Compact bases. This actually might be a Heavy Chopper Rush base, now that I look at it. Um, do, do, do. Should we try it? Oh, let's try it. It's so tempting. Heavy Chopper Rush is so nice because it's just so easy. Um, let's go all the heavies. I'm going to wait to put Kavana until they come down. And we'll clear out all this junk first. <clears throat> and then when they come back up, that's when I'll throw Kavan out. Um, Kavan, admittedly, not the best hero for Heavy Chopper Rush, but uh, we can make them work. Um, I'm just going to let them free clear here. We don't have a ton of, of uh, troop damage, so I mean it's kind of slow going. But we usually always get through the base at least. Um, so for this one, what we're going to do is go up and around, and we're just going to go around the whole world here. Uh, maybe we'll have enough GB saved up at the very end to Bart that one out, but I don't know. I think we need Max Bart to do something like that. Uh, let's flare him up here. We do have Smokes as well, which is very nice for Heavy Chopper Rush. That'll probably be the only thing that we're using right now. Uh, we'll let them clear out this garbage move forward. So we're at three minutes. It's always good to keep an eye on the time to know when you gotta when you should start to think about flaring. Um, I might use one second wind. Not a ton of them, but um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna save gunboat energy to Bart. I think what we'll do instead is just use it to uh, to take out shock binds and stuff. So I, I think we're gonna start flaring now because we do have smoke. This guy does not have shock launchers. Right, so let's try to do it that way. Okay, smoke. Maybe a little med kit there, heal him up a touch. Uh, let's go. The only issue I see is that hot pot's gonna be tough to get through. Smoke and smoke. Don't wanna go too crazy with the smokes. I am gonna hit this uh, shock mine. Okay, so we got GB left for a flare. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Getting a decent time here. Getting a decent time. Oh, that hot pot scares me. And do 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 do. I don't know what to use my GB on. I think I'm gonna go med kit actually, just for that stupid hot pot. I mean, a level three med kit against a hot pot with DVD, not you know, gonna help out tremendously. But there we go, 139. That's not bad. In terms of time, if you can consistently be above 130 and you've got most of the defenses, then I think that's what you need to uh, to get deeper into Diamond Mystic Mac. Let's see. Oh, it's going to be close. He's going to take it down. There we go, guys. There we go. Heavy Chopper Rush coming in for us. Heavy Chopper Rush coming in. So, man, the, the unlocking the heavies, obviously. I oh, he fizzled. Huh. Unlocking the heavies, very, very helpful. Very helpful. So, um, yeah, I don't know if we talked about that before, but obviously that was what pushed us forward a little bit um so yeah that is where we are at for right now guys i think we're gonna um we're gonna wait i'm gonna get two chests hopefully we should get the molten diamond at this point we've secured at least two chests um and then from there we're gonna go critter launchers think about shock launchers probably go up to seven um but yeah things are starting to shape up we're getting over that you know, Warships is, is a lot of up and down for me this season. There's a lot of down. But since we had all the stuff behind us for the most part, as we start to finally slowly get forward, now we're going to come into some push points. So it's uh, it's very exciting. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch you next one, guys. Chicken out. Bear, bear.